Hey, Sugar Plums, it's Amjad here, hashtag King Amjad, and today I'm doing my world's massive candle haul video. I basically have a lot of candles in this box, and I have three more candles, which are right over there on my bed. Um, so yeah, I've never done one of these videos on my channel before, because I usually do um, shopping hauls, and I, every, every Tuesday I film poems. I'm hoping to every Tuesday, so um, yeah, I'm doing the world's biggest candle haul video. I literally have a lot of candles from a few years ago, and I thought I might as well film a video for my channel. So yeah, I'm just going to go and close the door quickly. <clears throat> so yeah. I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember guys if you like this video remember to click the remember to click the like button and also hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can get notified whenever I upload. So yeah, we're gonna start off with the box and see what candles I have. So literally I have a lot of candles in here. So yeah, let's get crack a lacking. So the first candle I have yeah, it's only the box one first box ones first okay so the first candle i have is this orchid and sweet coconut candle which is like this you can't really see it that well yeah you can now um this was from sainsbury's i think this was three pounds fifty i don't know if they still sell this but like i said again all these candles in here are from a few years ago but this one smells honestly really nice um is there like coconutty, orchidy. It smells really nice. And here's what the inside looks like. Obviously I have been burning this, so that's that. So that's that candle. And then I have this one right here, which is called Glade with Love. I, again, I think this was from Sainsbury's or Tesco, but it smells really musky or jasmine-y sort of scent but it smells really nice but here's what the inside looks like as well so that's the glade with love candle i think i think in supermarkets you pay these like i think 175 or two pounds i don't i don't know what the exact price is but i don't know if they still do this in store but that's another good candle to buy uh, then I just have a Tesco um, Spiceberry um, candle jar, which looks like this. This one smells really like berries spiced with like star anise in it. But again, it smells really nice. I th this was one pound, not going to lie. This was only one pound in Tesco. But I think they only bring this this scent out earlier around Christmas. I don't, I don't know which year I had this, but they only had this candle, I think, around um, Christmas time. So, yeah, that's Spice Berry. Berry, I should say. Spice Berry. Mm. Um, then I have another red candle. I think this is um, Febreze Spiced Apple, I think. I'm not too sure, but... Yeah, this this is definitely Fibri Spiced Apple. It smells really nice, not gonna lie. Again, this was from Christmas as well. Don't know what year though, like I said again, but it smells really Christmassy in a jar. So <clears throat> that's Fibri Spiced Apple. Um, then I have this one. I think this is vanilla. It, it doesn't have a name on it, but yeah, it's definitely a vanilla scent, but I don't know, like, the label's not there, but this vanilla smells like, if you um, ever smell, I think it's called Little Trees um, Vanilla Aroma Car Freshener you put in your car, this candle smells exactly like that, not gonna lie. So yeah, that's the um, vanilla candle. Um, then I have another vanilla candle, yeah, I, I'm going to say this right now, I'm just going to say this right now, I love vanilla scented stuff, so you might see a lot of vanilla scents in here maybe. So yeah, this is another vanilla candle, I did not buy this, one of my auntie's friends from nursery, like my auntie worked at a nursery and one of, I think 
one of the kids' mums, one of my auntie's friends, I think she got this for her. I think it was around Christmas or for summer holidays, but it's not a vanilla candle. And it just looks like this in another jar. Oh, excuse the background. There, that's, an, that's just a candle in the background, by the way. But yeah, it looks beautiful in this jar. And again, that's another vanilla candle. So yeah, that's that one. Um, then I have a Yankee candle. God, what's the white one I had? One second, guys. So yeah, I'm just, so yeah, I got this, um, Simply Home Yankee Candle, uh, Cherry Vanilla. Now, I love this scent, not gonna lie. Um, again, one of my auntie's friends or one of the kids' mums gave this to my auntie, I think for Christmas or around the summer, but this smells, um, uh, amazing. If you never smelled Cherry Vanilla, you have to get this one, like, oh, I love this one. And here's what the colour inside looks like, but honestly, I love this scent. So yeah, that's the um, can of cherry vanilla. Before I carry on, um, I don't burn candles in the house a lot. I only burn candles whenever my cousins come round or whenever we, whenever I have family gatherings. So yeah, I only put candles on that time. But if I'm like in my room, I have like a wax burner right there, if you can see it. But um, I'm not going to do a wax melt haul. I'll do that in a... In another video but not too sure yet so yeah i only burn i only burn candles when i have cousins in my house like whenever my cousins come around so i make my house smell nice so yeah that's the yankee candle um cherry vanilla um then i have a wilco scented candle in summer fruits i actually bought this today from wilco because i went out shopping and i thought i was trying out the wilco candle out this is in summer fruits and it smells really, really fruity though, not gonna lie. So here, yeah, so here's what the um, candle looks like, it's just very orangey, and here's what the inside looks like. So yeah, that is still in its packaging, because obviously I bought it today. Um, then I have these um, Glade, Glade? Airwick mini candles. Um, I got this from Tesco for £1, so I got the... Um, Airwick um, White Vanilla Bean, which looks like this. You can't really see it well. Oh, there we go. By the guys, I am filming this on my laptop. Um, this, if you ever smell, if you ever tried Airwick's White Vanilla, Airwick White Vanilla Bean Candle, or just any Airwick Vanilla stuff, Airwick Vanilla Scent, Honestly, smells amazing. This smells just, this just smells like heaven. I honestly love Airwick's vanilla scent. And again, these little jars are one pound. So I've got the white vanilla bean. Um, then I have a Airwick um, purple blackberry spice, which looks like this. Um, Oh god, I love this one as well. It smells really amazing. Not gonna lie. Oh, that smells so nice. So yeah, I have the um, purple blackberry spice. I love I love these cute little jars. Um, as far as I'm aware, I think Poundland sell the I think Poundland sell these right now. So yeah. Then I have a Airwick Pink Sweet Pea. Now, I honestly love this scent, not gonna lie. Mm, Airwick's Pink Sweet Pea smells really good. I, I had the reed diffuser in this, and I think I had like a candle in this, like in, in a bigger size, but I don't have it anymore. But um, this smells really nice. See so, yeah. it. Those are my Airwick mini jars, and again, these were one pound in Tesco a few years ago. Um, then I have a Primark candle. This is um, light soda lime, and this one smells really nice. The scent reminds me of if you ever go to Lush, and if you ever smell the Wash shower jelly, the citrusy one, like in a dark blue colour, this 
candle smells exactly like that, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it just literally smells like a lush wash shower jelly in a jar, basically. So yeah, um, this is from Primark. I think this was three pounds, but I don't know what year I bought it. Obviously, I, I can't remember the price on all of them. Some, some I do, some I don't, but please bear with me. But you know, this candle smells honestly amazing. Um, I was watching Louise, Louise, aka Sprinkler Glitter. Um, she was doing a Primark haul with her little girl called Darcy, and she had this candle in her um, Primark haul, and I thought I had to buy it. It was a few years ago, but this candle is honestly amazing. Um, then I have, I think this is Tesco. This is, I think it's called Creamy Vanilla or Vanilla. I think this is called Creamy Vanilla, but I don't know what year I bought it, but... Oh, that smells really nice, not gonna lie. So yeah, here's what the inside looks like. I know they look a bit dusty because I do keep the candles in the box. And in case you're wondering, I store my candles underneath my mum's bed, like in the box. Some don't really fit in the box, so I usually, I usually, I usually keep some of them in my room, like in a secret place. But yeah, this one's called Creamy Vanilla. And I think this was 80p or one pound. I don't exactly know. Um, then I have another Tesco candle in Sweet Vanilla. This, this vanilla smells very creamy and it smells really nice and obviously here's the label and here's what the inside looks like. So yeah, that's that one. Then I have another Tesco candle. My god, I've got a lot of candles from Tesco's, haven't I? Um, this one, I think it's called Salted Caramel. Oh yeah, this Tesco candle came out in Christmas and this was in the scent salted, salted caramel. It smells honestly lush. Oh, that smells really nice. And here's what the inside looks like. So yeah, that's the salted caramel, salted caramel candle. And then I have another Christmassy candle. I think this is called Mold Wine by the Fire or Mold Wine and Cinnamon Apple. Ah, uh, this smells very, this smells like Christmas in a candle, not gonna lie. Oh, that smells really good. And here's what the inside looks like. Again, this was another Airwick one called Mold Wine by the Fire or Mold Wine and Cinnamon Apple. I don't know the actual name, but I had, to, I had this literally a few years ago. Yeah, honestly, I love this scent. Then I have another Airwick candle. This is a different candle. So basically, this is called um, Airwick. Um, it's something blackberry fig. I don't know the actual name, but I love this one. And basically, you put the candle on it as normal, and these um, little flowers, they actually change colour. It has like a LED thing inside, and it literally changes colour when you burn the candle. I love this candle. I don't really burn it anymore because um, I just keep it in the box. Because I mainly just use wax melts. I use these candles whenever I have cousins around, but you know I don't waste them. I do burn them. But so yeah, that's another Airwick candle, a changing colour one in something blackberry fig. So sorry guys if I don't know the name. Then I have another Glade candle, which is in the scent Relaxing Zen, and. Glades, Relaxing Zen is, is one of my favourite scents by Glade, not gonna lie, but it smells honestly amazing, and here's what the inside looks like, so yeah, that's Relaxing Zen. Uh, then I have a Ikea candle in the scent Strawberry, and um, I think Ikea's candles are 85p or 95p, I don't exactly know, but these are really cheap in Ikea, not gonna, not gonna lie. So yeah, that's a strawberry candle. Um, then I have a mini candle from Primark from a few years ago. This is sweet berry and patchouli, and, 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 as you can see it's almost finished, but um, it smells very sweet 
sweet berry with a hint, hint of patchouli, not gonna lie. So yeah, that's that one. Uh, then I have, my god, I have a lot of Eric candles, don't I? This is a Eric Candle home signature, home signature scent called Vanilla Bean and Coconut Milk. Now, I love this scent, not gonna lie. I honestly love this scent. I think I had it from Tesco. I think it was like £3 or £6. I've got no idea, but I honestly love this scent. Here's what the label looks like. But I know in Poundland, in the £2 section, I think it's sometimes do or they don't. They have this in the £2 section, but not in this scent, like in other scents. The Home Signature range, I highly recommend them. They are really good. Then I have a um, Wax Lyrical Candle in the scent Daffodil. I, this was from Denelm. I think my mum bought this for me. It's an okay scent. I don't really burn this one, but I keep it in the box. But I made it. I, I made it use kind of because I don't mind floral scents, but this candle is not. It's like a. Mm, it's okay, but yeah, it smells nice, but it's kind of all right. Here's what the label looks like. Um, then I have another IKEA candle in the scent vanilla. Now IKEA, now IKEA's vanilla scented candle smells really, really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Smells really nice, not gonna lie. So, yeah, that's an IKEA vanilla candle. You can see that. <clears throat> and then the last one in the box, I have another IKEA vanilla candle, which is literally, which is literally the same one like this. So, those are them. So, that's the candles in the box. I'm gonna show you the, uh, the other three candles I have as well. So, the other candles I have are these um, Powerland candles. Basically, um, if you guys know, if you, if you guys know, know me well, I love Jo Malone scents, but they're really expensive. If you guys watch my perfume collection video, I had like the Mandarin Lime and Basil sampler, the Superdrug Bloom thing, and I honestly loved that one. But when I was in Cat, when I was in Poundland, <laughs> I saw these Jo Malone dupe candles. I had to get them. I did burn them. So the first candle is the um, current and oakwood luxury candle. Can you just tell they look exactly like Joe Malone? Not gonna lie. And this scent smells honestly awesome. It smells really, really nice. Mm, I love this one. And these were not a pound, these were two pounds in Poundland in the two pound shelf and I had to buy one so I got that one for two pounds. I did buy my cousin one for, for her birthday around Christmas time and she loved it as well. Whenever I go to her house she burns it in the living room and I could tell she loves it so I love this scent and she loves it so yeah. Then another pound and then another Jo Malone dupe candle from Poundland from the two pound shelf is this pomegranate one right here and the bow looks honestly cute. Let me just show you the label properly. There we go. Um, this one honestly smells. If you smell um, pomegranate noir by Jo Malone, it smells exactly similar but like a lighter way. Not like in a strong way but like this smells very similar to the Pomegranate Noir by Jo Malone. Oh, that smells really nice. Not gonna lie. So yeah, that's the Pomegranate candle. And then the last ever candle, which I just bought from Sainsbury a few weeks ago, is this um, Peony and Linden Blossom, which looks like this. Now, I bought this in a sale. If you guys watch my Sainsbury's and Lidl's haul, Lidl haul I did a few weeks ago, this, the original price was £3.50, but this was reduced to £1.95, and I bought one jar, and this scent 
smells honestly amazing. I love I love the fake flowers around the side. Like it gives like a nice design, doesn't it? And yeah, this candle honestly smells honestly smells amazing. I do have the room spray as well in the bathroom, but this candle honestly smells amazing. There, yeah. not that one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, my massive ever candle haul. I don't think I need to buy more candles now. <laughs> literally, I have a lot of candles. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I need to literally tie this up, put it back in my mum's room, upload this to my channel, and finally I can just chill. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you in another one. Bye guys!